Odie. What's going on, Fomies? I am out here with the famous Randy B. We found out about a new spot. One of my really good friends told me about it, so we're gonna give it a shot. This is a totally new area for us. Never fished a pond in anything like this. We're like in the middle of a baseball field. So let's get out there. Let's see if we can catch some of these wintertime bass. The conditions are pretty, uh, they're okay. It's bright bluebird skies. It's in the low 50s and the wind is blowing really hard. So hopefully I won't have too many audio issues, but it will be a good time. So let's get out there and let's go see if we can catch some of these little fish, you know what I mean? Finally here, and I hope that I'm not having any uh, GoPro audio issues. Old Randy B is over here throwing a, uh, what are you throwing? Um, a spinner, swim bait. Oh, he's throwing an underspin with a swim bait. I am going to start off with the same thing I had at the last pond, just a super fluke. Soft jerk bait. Let's see how that works. I haven't thrown deeper around here yet. So I have no idea, you know, where it's deep, where it's shallow and all that stuff. But we're going to start with this. I figured it'll be a good searching bait. I just want something to, uh, something to cover water pretty quickly. Neither one of us has been here before, but it's pretty obvious that people have fished here before. We found a saltwater sinker. Not sure what, why that's here, but there's some fishing line on some branches. So it's not like we've, uh, come to a remote area it's been found and we've heard that there's hogs here so i never said that i don't like the side that we're on no there's a lot of shade on this side we can walk around. yeah we will i just feel like the fish are not going to be in the shade somebody watched my how to store plastics video Check out this little setup Randy B has. Dang, dude, that's tight. You put a uh, swim bait belly weighted hook onto a Senko and uh, it helps the Senko get down a lot faster to that deeper water, but it keeps that shimming action as opposed to putting like a jig head on the, uh, on the Senko. Let's see if this will do the trick along with that weighted hook. I mean the weighted uh, fluke. I'm gonna move spots. It seems like it's deep here but there's just no fish we're not getting any bites and we are slow rolling it all the way back so let's go try the opposite end of the pond where there's the sun um because where we're at right now it's really shady and i'm sure those fish are trying to find some warmer water so let's go over there okay so we're gonna change spots and uh get what you're full of crap bro no bro Show me. Ooh. <laughs> we should get a sharpie right deeper on it and throw it out. But it's, it's not a deeper, fellas. This is a uh, <laughs> tennis ball. That's a baseball. You oh, yeah. It's <laughs> what we want. The wind is blowing towards us, and so the current's coming this way, so I'm hoping the fish are facing that way, and there's sun here, so hopefully they're chilling in the warmer water. Uh-oh. Let's let the sucker sink. Yes, boy. You got it back? Yes, you know. Gosh. Fishing in this cold water is no fun. It's just painfully slow. I nailed that tree. <laughs> hey, get the... <laughs> oh, gosh, man. I hit the tree, bro. I was thinking about doing that. It looked kind of ridiculous, but it works, you know? Yeah. Except you cast it straight down. Hmm. Dang, I thought it'd be deep here, but it seems like it's honestly really shallow.
like really shallow. Randy just got a, a bite. Me, on the other hand, I'm not getting a single nibbles. Who knows, maybe this pond's not fire. Heard when you call a pond fire pond, it automatically turns into a crap pond. Maybe that was my mistake this time. I'm just, I'm not even using the ideal lure right now. I'm throwing a rattle trap with no, uh, no beads inside it or anything like that to make any noise. So it's kind of just plain and the water's murky, but I'm throwing like a sexy shad color when I ideally I'd like to throw something with even more flash to it to just draw attention. Well, it just sucks. Here's to another video with some mediocre editing and just no fish catches. Uh, the struggle's real. I hate saying that, but it is a grind and the fish are super lethargic and I'm not trying to make any excuses, but I just, to keep it real with you guys, I mean, I feel like I've put in the effort, the time, the research just to be able to catch some of these wintertime fish, but sometimes it just doesn't work out how you want it to. We found the fish, found a ton of schools of like bluegill and crappie and that kind of stuff very few bass but we found them and I was targeting them and so was Randy and we ended up with one bite all afternoon and so there's not not much else I can say except that we're gonna go get some food and I'm gonna take you guys with me but it is what it is right about there dinner was great the fishing was not so great going out there and just having fun was awesome but the fish catching just <laughs> it wasn't on point um, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a vlog a week um, on top of the fishing videos just for fun um, maybe take you guys around to like what I do with young life and just kind of I don't know we'll figure that out but that's just an idea the fish catching is just <laughs> it's not happening guys the fish catching is not there right now with the weather that we're having so why don't you guys just leave me a couple comments below just kind of giving me some video ideas what do you guys want to see i had a mystery tackle box I, I i think about doing like mtb unboxings and stuff with my own twist to it but you see everybody does them so i don't know maybe unboxings like that kind of stuff to me is boring but uh i don't know why don't you guys just give me some ideas i'd love to chat with you guys and so just leave a comment below tell me Tell me what, what kind of ideas you guys got. I'd love to try them out. So, yeah, leave me a comment. I'd love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to be uncomfortable and to always find comfort in discomfort. I will see you guys next time. Dude, look at this cage. Randy. Dude, I'm going in the cage. I don't know if you want to go in the cage, but I'm going to go in the cage. When you catch zero fish, I think you should put yourself in a timeout. Because you do it, you do it for the subs. Yeah. Nah. I don't like it.